Okay, straight to the point. Your hard drive's getting full, you're low on memory, you desperately need some memory, but you don't know what to delete or what to move to another drive. So here's a quick solution that can free up a lot of memory, at least temporarily. So as you can see, my hard drive just has 200 megabytes left of free space and I'm barely hanging on before programs start crashing on me. When I take a look at my disk space analyzer, I can see there's a lot of memory tied up in a file called hyperfill.sys with about six gigabyte that I'd surely love to have right now. This is just memory allocated for your computer when you go into hibernation mode. If you don't think you're gonna need hibernation mode, then go ahead and disable this. You can always turn it back on later when you wanna use hibernation and this won't affect anything else on your computer. You're gonna wanna hit the Windows and X key and then select Windows PowerShell with administrator. Then type in power cfg forward slash hibernate off and hit enter. And instantly that file's been disabled. When you hit F5 to refresh, you can now see that I have over six gigabytes of free space. I have enough memory now to finish what I was doing and I can sort out my files later and then turn hibernation back on. Back in the disk analyzer, you can see that the hybrid file sys has been crossed off. And when you do a quick refresh, you can also see free space is now over six gigs. If you're feeling greedy and you see another two gigs of memory you can have if you delete this thing called page file sys, please do not delete this file. This is very important for your windows. If you delete it, you may crash your windows. So do not delete this one. When you've got enough memory later, you can go back and turn hibernation back on simply using the exact same steps and then type in power cfg forward slash hibernate on and hit enter. Do a quick refresh and now you'll see that hyperfile.sys is back, taking up over six gigs. But it's just good to know that if you need emergency memory, this is something you can do to alleviate your situation. So I hope this helps anyone out there. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Don't forget to give a like, share, and subscribe as it really helps me out. And until next time.